see this you can't really tell in the videos this is where i've been digging it rained a little bit you can't even tell i dug here honestly look there's bottle sticking right out of the side of the wall that's an old bottle there that's some kind of old clear beer and there's bottles all going down in there but you know all as i have to do i never have to fill in my holes this look that says canton high right up there i've never seen that with the name up there huh have you seen that i haven't it says canton here too that's a shame that's screwed up but you got to bury your bottles i'll bury them in here and rake dirt over them. the grass seed on it i gotta clean up some bottles but let's see if there's anything laying out here that's kind of a cool bottle see it should probably take it see if there's any marbles or anything and i'll get back if i see anything there's a gum turpentine heck the acl's on that look at that hazel atlas mark on that that's a big jar I don't see anything laying out. Look yeah, you saw the caved in hole when I got here. I'm already out of breath and it's hot. It's humid. It just rained. I mean, it feels like the Amazonian rainforest up here. Ah, oh, but I got a good find already. It's, I don't know, 30 minutes of non stop digging. This looks pretty good right here. And see, I'm in that, see that white fleck in that? I know that's not dug. That's some kind of eggshell or something. Look here. I think this is a little ink bottle. Oh man, I think so, huh? And look at that color. What the heck is this? Oh man, that's an old ink. That's a beauty. My goodness, that's a little. I've not found one like this before. I'll get it cleaned up and chase me. Well, here's this beauty. Just an outstanding, look at the bubbles in it, beautiful color, just, you know, that, I don't even know what to say. Look at that right there, for free from the ground. And I could walk to that place. I could walk to two other dumps too, in opposite direction that are just as good. This is crazy. It's a beautiful piece, it's just, look at that color. That's nice. I never see these for sale. You know, they're probably for sale, but people buy them up. I love it. Later, later. You know, I've been on a pretty good run in here on stuff along this bank. Like nice quality finds for videos and I'm looking for marbles. The other things are a plus and I finally got a marble. And this is just a little bit older stuff. On the top layers, I'm still hitting 50s trash. But when I get down, there's stuff like that inkwell. And this was from somewhere in between. Right there or something. You know, folks, this is something just sick. And I just found an acro agate plate in my last video, and I found some acro agate marbles in here two years ago, like over in there. This just might be another one. Now, yeah, see, that's got filaments all in it. Look at how beautiful this marble is. Look at the color on the end catching the light. That's either a vitro patch marble or it's some kind of acro that's like a sparkle or something to that effect. But then you get in them champion, or not champion, master marbles. And those guys that made that factory made similar looking marbles and they left acro to, to create master. So, and there was copyright infringement lawsuits and because the marbles were similar, but this is a day maker. The ink well and now this, this is worth a trip and I've been here right around an hour. I'm going to continue to go and hopefully a few more like this pop out because I'd rather have this than the end. Well, you can see this bad boy. That's pretty nice. It's going to look nice in my new frame of marbles. I'd say that's an acro. It could be some kind of master, but check that out. Wow. All right, I got a milk bottle there. It didn't look bad, but there's a broken one. I'm digging all this stuff out. That, that's a Cloverdale Dairy Wheeling. There's a Bromo with a real weird, look at the prong top on that, I'll take that. Prescription cork bottles and other, piggy bank. How many of these have I found broke? Probably 20 of them. But here's a milk and it's embossed and I, it don't look familiar. What the heck is this? Something. 
Beverly's Farms. Huh, I've never heard of that. BF. I'll see if there's a city name on it anywhere. I don't know if there is or not. Beverly Farms. I've never heard of that. Try to maybe look it up. BF right there. That's kind of nice, huh? I'll get back. All right. Um, I didn't look this up or nothing, but it's Beverly Farms. And, you know, if you're from Marietta, Bever there's a town called Beverly behind Marietta. So it could be from back in there. It might be something else, but probably back here. And close to Marietta where I'm digging. But, you know, some woman named Beverly might want that. That's a cool milk. There's no town name on it. It's got a little haze in it, but it's mint. One pint liquid BF. You can see the bottom there, and it says sealed bb48 registered right there and you can see the bottom it's kind of nice for free from the ground what's that glass mark owens illinois i'm not sure i think that's what it is but you have to look it up um but that ain't bad kind of a cool fun later that's gonna cave in on me it's cracking but look at this cool bottle it's got the lid on it too that's older than that isn't it the glass is heavy that's cool. Just almost getting ready to go. This all caved in again. Look at the hole I had started. I need to get right down in here. Straight down. Started digging it out. You see it. My goodness. I got a Daymaker marble. And it's older on this spot. You know, look at this. Look at that. There we go. I'll get a little longer. This is a good one. Oh, bad folks. Ooh, this is smaller than ever. Look at this. Oh my goodness, folks. Wow. Wow, this is nice. What is that? It's something awesome. Well, this marble's sick. It's got, see that ding right there? That's it. Um, it's pretty nice otherwise. Look at that color right in there. I don't know what this is. Is this a raven's wood? I don't know, but it's going to make a frame with that color. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm back home, man. I'm getting sore now. And look here. It's Roger McNutter. He rides up on my shoulder. He's ready to get down. I'll get, I'll get back here in a minute. All right, my buddy's getting off on his, on his tree here. Look at him. He goes wild. Look at him. Look at this, folks. Look what I got to deal with. Old Squirrel Man is doing good. Now yeah, look at him. He's going wild out here. I'll grab him. He's running luck. He's running good. He's, his legs are doing good. He's been getting a lot of exercise. It's all wet out here. And he's, look at him. But I hope you enjoyed the video. It of course rained. Um, poured the rain down so that hole I was in is going to be all filled in you won't even be able to tell I'm digging there and this is my pet squirrel squirrel man look here fakes look at this look at this handsome boy what are you doing alright I'll get back on the next one I'll go look someplace tomorrow like I do every other day